Greetings, I'm Dr. Alan Spreen and welcome to Explain This. It's here you'll find that the world we live in, and even a few worlds we don't live in, contain surprises you weren't expecting. Above and behind me is the Calico Dig, one of the most unusual archaeological sites in the world. We're just outside of Yermo, California, in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Right now, we're going to talk with Mr. Fred Buttinger, the current director of the Calico Dig, who's going to show us around the entire site that you see from top to bottom. Come with us. This is Master Pit 2 that we're going to go into now. And we're now... Man. Volunteers are digging this by hand. This rock may have been heated, but heated someplace else and then reused here. But it's here, and what stratum are we in right now? Well, we are, on a, we are on a bedding surface, and we're not in the middle of a surface. Uh, are we, we, we 200,000 years ago here? Well, for all intents and purposes, yeah. Are there any samples of geofax from, or what would be a geofax, potentially from soft stone that looks like this? No, soft stones are either going to round up real quickly or they'll be gone if they're too oh, soft. You wouldn't find them anyway. Yeah. Okay. This is Master Pit 1. As I mentioned, this is where the project really started. Now I see the strings and the nailed levels, and it's obvious that they're tracing out stratum dividers, right. I take it. Now what is it? This is the darkest piece I see in the whole wall. What, well, what is this? this Have is we found something? This is a piece of uh, yellow jasper, and it has been flaked. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a, not a chopping tool. We've got scars here and here and over here and here. I've been climbing for a while, so I've left Mr. Buttinger back at the main camp, which you can see over my shoulder. Uh, we've come a ways uh, from where the real dig is. Where we're headed is something called a control pit. What's happened here is to stay with the, the rules of what National Geographic and other organizations uh, uh, hold so that your dig is really considered a legitimate dig is you have to dig somewhere else, picked by someone else, and of course picked in the craziest, farthest away place they can go, to prove theoretically that the same artifacts are available everywhere. So if we dug a reference hole, a control pit, and found the same stuff that they found at all different levels, then we'll know that what's in that pit is no big deal because it's everywhere. We can dig anywhere. So that's what we're gonna see next. Man. Now this crazy 77 foot pit was dug by hand to show that Mother Nature didn't make these artifacts. The whole purpose of this is to prove whether the same artifacts would be found here as in the actual dig. And of course they went down 77 feet secondary to this site that was picked by the National Geographic Society and a gentleman who didn't believe that anything at Calico was for real. And they went down the 77 feet, and sure enough, they found no artifacts. It looks like the real stuff is at Calico. 